Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for September 3rd, 2021. Virgos, happy birthday, sweethearts. I hope you all have a great day today. Let's get it, Virgos. Coming with the Magician, the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Swords energy there. I'm going to be reading that part there in a couple ways here, Virgos. You guys might end up having somebody at your workplace or someone in your work energy field here uh, who's very much so jealous envious this person plays a lot of stupid games here virgos with the queen of wands in reverse aries leo sagittarius a gemini a leo a virgo a yeah all right a pisces here as well this person here plays a whole lot of games virgos it's because they move on on jealousy on envy here as well they're very childish uh two virgos but it looks like they're going to end up exposing themselves or they're going to be exposed for whatever reason that is for themselves and it looks like they're not going to end up having any victory with the ace of swords in reverse and nothing's going to go in their favor anymore they're going to be stagnated they're not going to have no choice but to move on <sighs> somebody here doesn't do their job well here virgos and they feel they might feel like they need to they they, they should be better or somebody here make Somebody here doesn't do the job very well, but they think that they do the job very well, but they don't. So they might end up actually being let go uh, in the next three days. Um, three of Wands energy. They're going to have no choice but to move on here with their life because they continue to abuse their powers. So maybe in the, in the past, this person isn't being noticed that the fact that they're abusing their power at the workplace, but in fact that they are uh, because this person makes a lot of foolish decisions here and they are going to end up getting sad and they are very pe much so petty. Also, Virgos, another way I'm going to read it, there's somebody in your workplace who might be doing magic on you guys. This person's abusing their power. Uh, they're not listening to the divine. It's saying here, leave this person alone. <laughs> leave this person alone. But the, nobody want to leave this person alone. This this Queen of Wands is incredibly jealous. They're not going to be reaching their victory. They're not going to be having their triumph. The world is going to actually become stagnated for themselves. They are going to be exposed in their workplace. However, they choose to expose themselves. It might end up happening here as well. Uh, but they're saying that this person is foolish because of the fact that they are choosing not to listen with the judgment card in reverse. And um, also, Virgos, there's somebody here you might have also slept with as well that you might end up having to go get tested from. It's saying that the judgment card is in reverse, okay? So... It means like, you know what, you just don't know what the answer is or the fact that you might end up getting your results back and there and everything is absolutely fine for you guys, all right? And you guys can continue to move on with your life. But please, if that is the case for some of you guys, please take care of yourselves at the same time. Um, let's get it, Virgos. Magician, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords energy. Uh, someone's definitely abusing their power here, uh, sweeties. Some of you guys might, might be getting a message from the doctor or you're not going to get a message from the doctor depending on your health status here uh, but regardless of where it goes uh, i hope everything's going to be okay for you guys here as well all right <sighs> i don't know if there's going to be a renewal between you and your gemini virgo gemini aries leo sagittarius a leo i don't know if there's going to end up being a renewal before the, between the two of you guys because this person made a really bad decision on you here virgos coming with a lover's card in reverse some of you guys some of you guys may not even have an attraction towards this person anymore and you guys, like, it makes you very sad that this person is very, very much so petty here, Virgos. Um, this person here only wants to do things for themselves. Like, Three of Pentacles, Sun card to the Eight of Pentacles there. They just want to do things for themselves. They... <laughs> very selfish energy. Very much so uh, player-like energy. Uh, be careful that this person doesn't only want you for your money here as well, all right? Regardless of whatever's happening with this Queen of Wands in reverse, who thinks that they're all there, uh, it doesn't look like anything's happening here, Virgos. The world's going to be stagnated. They're not going to be able to move over. They're not going to have any success in their life. They're going to have no choice but to move on with their life because they're not going to be happy where they are at this present moment. And uh, it's saying here that this person is absolutely, in fact, selfish here, Virgos. You guys could have been dealing with the Leo of, of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who could be narcissistic, but this is a very much so a person who is continuously abusing their power. Virgos coming with a strength card in reverse. They're feeling weak now after the fact that they've done this shit to you. So it's almost like it backfired on them in some sort of way here. However, uh, they want to come out of the cold with you. In Mercury Retrograde, Virgos, you guys are going to have a lot of people coming back to you. I mean, there's a lot of people on this spread here. I got uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. 
<laughs> like, mm, Virgo, there's like a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> that's a ton of people okay so <laughs> so with the with the king and the page of cups in reverse uh this person definitely wants to maybe reach back out to you again but they are a little bit stressed out with the nine of swords energy because they are very much so emotionally unstable because they're the ones that know that they are the ones that ended up abusing their power they did bad on you here virgo so and they're very childish very immature very manipulative and they're definitely a friggin' player. So if that is the case and you guys end up doing something with a player here, you guys might end up having to get tested here. Virgos, please take care of yourself and please take care of your health at the same time, all right? This Queen of Wands here is not going to reach their victory in any way, shape, or form, Virgos. It uh, looks like people are going to be watching this person at their workplace. And they may end up having to be spoken to to another by another employee there. Uh, that sucks. Sucks for them. Also, Virgos... Whoever's going to be doing magic on you coming in just now, uh, they're not going to be having any victory here, okay? However, they are going to be having to sit down and watch you guys. There's going to be an Aries Leo Sagittarius who is stalking you, watching you guys. Uh, with the Six of Wands in reverse, don't open the gates to your enemies. So if any of these people are enemies for you guys, who you guys was friends with in the past, and you guys are not friends with them anymore... There's no need to be opening up those gates. There's no reason, no reason to be like, oh, I wonder if you changed. Who gives a fuck if they've changed, Virgos? They already showed you their hand the first time. Let go and let it be. Move on with your life, all right? Now, this person is stressed out in their mind. Eight of Swords are having a tower moment because they thought that they were going to be able to get away with their selfishness, their manipulative acts, their disrespect. But the Four of Wands, now they're not happy anymore. So wherever this person ended up with the Four of Wands in reverse, they're no longer happy. Somebody here is not going to be able to have a job anymore. They're going to be exposed. Some shit's going to end up going down. And and it looks like it's whatever at this point here, okay? Two of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Two of Wands, the Hierophant here. Virgos, during the new during the full moon energy. <laughs> During the full moon energy here, um, you guys might be a little bit fearful and not knowing what to do, okay? But it's saying here that there's going to be a Taurus who is a little bit fearful to come back towards you because you guys may have ended up blocking this person or there's just an energetic block between you and this person at the same time because of the fact that they never chose to give, give to you with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. You guys are not going to allow this person back in your energy anymore because they're not doing, they're not willing to make the, the changes within themselves. Uh, sick, the death card there, Scorpio energy. They are going to have the desire to try and come back for you, but trust me, Virgos, even if they do desire to come back for you or even if they're determined to come back for you anyway with the Seven of Cups in reverse, uh, I don't see that happening. I see a, I see an Ace of Wands in reverse there. This person is, is not going to be able to get to you as fast as they used to uh, just because of the Ace of Wands is in reverse. So that means that this person here is going to most likely be energetically blocked from being able to enter into your energy zone. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Six of Cups, <laughs> Hermit, Six of Swords, and the King of Wands. That just looks like you guys are pretty much overwhelmed with all the bullshit that's coming in around you guys. Uh, you guys are definitely holding on to the things that you guys have now. Uh, be open to receive here, Virgos, as well. A lot of you guys might be overwhelmed when it comes to your love life. You're not happy when it comes to your love life because maybe some of you guys have been single for the last nine years, nine months, nine weeks, and you guys have been focusing on yourselves here, Virgos, but it's better that you guys focus on yourselves and be chasing people who are not worthy of you. You don't chase, you attract at the end of the day. So you guys are going to be sitting in the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles there. You guys are officially financially abundant. You guys are good to go. You're very loving, very nurturing, very generous here. Definitely a wifey or a husband material. However, though, you guys have somebody from your past, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Virgo, who misses you in like a lot, Virgos. This person might be at a distance from you. However, they are trying to find a way to come back towards you. At the bottom of the deck, I got the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom of the night, ace of pentacles three of cups <laughs> virgos you guys got money coming in for you guys congratulations especially with the nine of pentacles queen of nine of pentacles queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles that's the universe offering you a lot of stuff here virgos where it's going to bring you a lot of happiness here too and things are going to start moving things are going to start moving for you nine of wands there's nothing they nothing anyone can do it's 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 in 
it's the universe responding virgos because you guys do good by people you guys help people out and press card because you're very loving very nurturing you're very wise at the same time you guys take action when, and when when things come towards you guys take action you never miss out on opportunity so good for you guys for that here virgos also with the knight of wands to the three of cups it looks like somebody here is going to want to try and back reach out to you again they are going to be taking uh, action to come back for you. Aquarius energy there, sweeties. And the Queen of Cups energy. So, Virgos, continue to take care of yourself. You guys might be highly intuitive here, too. Uh, detox yourself. Cleanse yourself. Somebody here might be drinking a lot because they're partying a lot here, Virgos, because it's your birthdays. Go, Virgos. Go, Virgos. Go. Go, Virgos. Go, Virgo. Go. 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 <laughs> Okay, because Virgos, you guys have been through so much in your life coming in with the Ten of Swords energy. It's time for you guys to start speeding up and start making moves in your life uh, with the Two of Pentacles there. It, it's it's time, Virgos. It, it's time to get to calmer waters now, okay? You guys are like, you know, I've been I've been treading water for damn how long, and it's time because I've been through a lot of shit coming in with the Devil card. It's time to release that, get your freedom back here, Virgos, and to release anything that does not serve you anymore. There's going to be a message coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person's coming in, Virgos, especially at the end of the month. So do expect it between the uh, September, mm -hmm. September, uh, what is that? September 20th, uh, 20, September 22nd, Virgos, to September 27th, this person is going to be reaching out to you guys. It will be for an entire eight days of this person, so for one whole week this person will be probably trying to communicate with you guys here this person is coming in for you guys at the end of the month it could be also be coming in from a taurus virgo capricorn king of pentacles who might want to be bringing in an offer towards you here virgos wow this person wants to be in a relationship with you virgos they see you as somebody who can have everything with uh and and they know that they broke your heart badly here too virgos and some of you guys may also be heartbroken but that's a beautiful spread they're coming in with an offer they want to make a proposal here to you too with the net of cups two of cups they want to relationship maybe even a family with you here as well but someone's still heartbroken three of swords someone's heart is still pierced from whatever had happened here in the past high uh the high priestess some of you guys don't even know about it or the fact that it's going to be not revealed to you as of yet so it's not for you to guys really know what's coming in for you guys Virgo. so mm -hmm. all right so you guys need to uh um just live life kind of thing you know it's just the truth to kind of like live life go into the unknown be fabulous at the same time okay uh, because once that happens, things are going to start moving a lot more faster for you guys, Virgos. And there's nothing you guys can do about it. Ten of Wands energy. You guys are going to continue to push forward from all the from all the pain that you guys have ever been through. Temperance card, Sagittarius, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who wants to reach out to you. You guys have been investing in yourselves on a spiritual level here as well. So you guys have been, been investing on a spiritual level. Not only that, Virgos, you guys have also been ascending on a spiritual level. A lot of you guys might be also young here, Virgos, coming with the High Priestess to the Temperance card. And some people might be thinking, well, whom? How do you know the things that you know? <laughs> How are you so spiritually awakened? Well, you know, Virgos, it's just that you just do. Um, it is what it is. Not everybody is a high priestess out here, and that's just the fucking truth. Not everyone has. Not. I just see an earth angel straight up. That's an earth angel for me. And and you guys have continued, continually. <laughs> what? <laughs> you guys have. <laughs> you guys have continuously. Um. Uh, uh passed so many tests when it comes to the spiritual world and and it looks like things are going to start moving forward towards you even when these things bring burden for you you guys still find ways to continue to push forward here virgos because you guys take control of the situation you guys take control of your life you know exactly what your purpose is here on earth so for that you guys are going to continue to invest in yourselves continue continue and continue to invest in yourselves here virgos and there's going to be an aries leo uh, gemini libra aquarius <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yay virgo that's so cute there's gonna be an aries uh gemini libra aquarius who wants to come towards you maybe even invest in you here as well this person is very very wealthy here virgos they make a ton of money i just heard billionaire status i don't know virgos that seems exciting to me <laughs> uh towards virgo capricorn uh, even if it's not a billionaire, it's just the fact that this is somebody who made, who's very much so financially abundant for themselves here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Libra energy here, Virgos. This person wants to come back towards you guys. 
uh, and balance everything out with you as well, right? And so in their hidden feelings, they do want to communicate with you, but they're worried that if they come back to communicate with you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that you're not going to end up reaching out to them because of the fact that they know that they, they're they looking because they know what they've done straight up. This person knows exactly what they've done and and they might be worried that you're not going to want to take that leap of faith, but they're still going to try anyway. Also, Virgo, some of you guys have a big court case coming in with a lot of money. Uh, whatever that's going to be coming in as. I don't know what's going to end up happening here, sweeties. It looks like it might be in your favor anyway. But at the end of the day, uh, just take care of yourself and retreat at the same time. Uh, the wheels are going to be looking like it's going to be in your favor. To the Emperor, to the Ten of Pentacles, to the Justice card there. If it was in reverse, I'd say no, it's not in your favor, Virgos. But it looks like it might actually be in you guys' favor at the end of the day. Um, but with the four, the four of Swords energy there as well. So... I don't know. I don't know if someone's going to be is bad person or what, but I don't know. My favorite favor for you guys here at the end of the day here, Virgos, all right? Uh, regardless, though, this person wants to come back towards you. You guys may actually end up meeting up with them, but the problem is in this situation is that they're going to be coming in quickly with communication while you guys are going to be like listening, 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 and this person's going to be talking like so, so fast with you guys. Like they're just going to tell you everything how they feel. They're going to just want to, and then... So while this is happening for you guys with the with the Knight of Swords to the Queen of Swords to the Knight of Pentacles to the Moon card there, you guys are going to sit down with this person. Maybe you guys are going to sit in the person's whip or they're going to jump in your whip or whatever the case is. And you guys are going to end up having a conversation with them. And when that happens, you guys are not going to say nothing. You guys are going to be the four of swords to the knight of pentacles legit not saying nothing at all just listening to what this knight of swords has to say to what this queen of swords has to say here so they're going to be speaking 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 while you guys are just listening 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 make sure you guys listen very well here virgos because and don't be talking over this one because this one here has a lot to say they got a lot to say here virgos uh and then eventually when you guys have the chance to speak you guys are going to be like well do you remember when you decided to be the seven of swords and be sneaky ass and, and thought that that was the right thing? So this person here with the seven of wands to the queen of wands and seven of wands to the queen of swords energy, they're going to try and find a way to negotiate here something with you. OK, whether this is be a court case with you guys, there's going to be some sort of negotiation or reevaluating or something. And if it's not and if it's something about love, it looks like this person is going to try and find a way to renegotiate a way to come back into your life so that way they can be the fool coming in here. So this person wants to negotiate here with you, negotiate the fact that they were so bad on you with the Seven of Swords. So maybe this person ghosted you in the past here. So they want to renegotiate, seeing if they're going to be able to get you to come back to them. Thanks, cuties. Bye.